Hey guys, how's it going? It's Monkle Zonky here. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a guide on how to kill crystal shapeshifters, mostly for your Slayer tasks. If you get assigned them, if you have completed the new quest, The Light Within, but also you can kill them. For example, if you're an Iron Man, they're the only creature in the game that drops the Elder Seed. So you might want to do that. There are various reasons to kill them, or you can even camp them for the new tier 80 hybrid armor, which is the best hybrid armor in the game. And the only way to get it is by either killing these guys or doing skilling in this area for the Tardian crystals. So let's go ahead and get into this guide. I'm going to mostly talk about Slayer related, how you kill them, XP rates and all that. But also you can use this guide if you just want to camp the creatures as well. So one thing to mention is when the crystal shapeshifters first came out, the XP was pretty bad, but that was recently changed. And so now if you kill these creatures, the Slayer XP is decent. It's not one of the better XP tasks in the game. It's no Eruts or Celestial Dragons, but it is pretty good and you're going to get around 150k to 200k per hour if you're on task with overloads and tier 90 weapons and all that. It is possible to get up to around 200,000 Slayer experience and that's a fairly decent task. Also the profit's not bad. Their drop table is very very similar to the elves in the elf city. So along with that you're going to get a lot of the same drops, a lot of the noted ores and herbs and stuff. So the profit is around 1.5 mil to 2.5 mil an hour just from their regular drops alone. Unfortunately, they do not drop any charms, so that's the one major negative with these creatures. In addition to the part that they are kind of annoying and they do a lot of damage, but we'll get into that once we start killing the shapeshifters themselves. So you'll see that I have three gear setups here, and the reason for that is the shapeshifters change their combat style depending on what combat style you are using, and they'll change to the style that you are weakest to. So if you are in melee gear, they will use magic, and the same with mage and range. They'll use the style that you're weakest against, so you can use any of the combat styles that you want XP in the most. And that's one of the nicest things about this task, and all melee, mage, and range, they all work fairly well. The shapeshifters don't have a weakness outside of what they're weak to when they are changing and styles and I found the best way to kill them is just by soul splitting and if you are with tier 90 weapons slayer helm active overloads the whole lot you should be able to soul split all your health back and if you don't have soul split you'll be eating a lot of food so this probably would not be a very good task to do without 92 prayer and I would recommend probably blocking it if you are at that point so how you get to the place where you kill these guys is you teleport to the world gate and then you want to rotate the world gate so it's set on Tardiad because that's the only place that you can kill the shapeshifters. And there's not really a whole lot else to do here in this world other than killing the shapeshifters. It's mainly that and mainly for buying the armor as well. Also, one thing to keep in mind is you can talk to Engoth, who is the only friendly NPC in this world. And you can set the crystal shapeshifters to be aggressive if you would like that. And then they'll just attack you automatically. And if you don't set this to aggressive, you'll have to attack all the crystal shapeshifters on your own. So if you want it to be a little bit more AFK, you can do that if you would like. So I did find one spot in Tardiad which has a really good amount of shapeshifter spawns fairly close together. Most of the shapeshifters are fairly spread out, so there's not a whole lot of good places to kill them. But I did find one spot with four spawns that are very close, and also a fifth that's not too far away. And the main reason you want to have a situation like that is because you can... Kill the shapeshifters with magic or range, and then you're able to use your sunshine or death swiftness and easily attack a large amount of shapeshifters so you're not wasting any time on those ultimate abilities. So the fight with the shapeshifters is very similar to killing the elves in Priftinus because they will use abilities just like the elves do. And also, unlike the elves, they have much higher defense and they are quite strong, so they can be a little bit challenging to kill. And I found even with the tier 90 weapon, even overloaded, unfortunately I was not on task here because... Well, I used all my Slayer points, and I just wasn't able to get a task. But even with fairly high accuracy, you still do splash fairly often, so keep that in mind. However, the nice thing about the Shapeshifters is the XP drop is fairly large when you do kill them. So you just want to be using your Sunshine as much as possible, because all of the spawns around here will permit you to get a good few threshold abilities off inside the Sunshine. And this is a really good spot to camp, and the spawns do respawn fairly quickly, so you shouldn't have any problem with that, even if you are going ham and killing the shapeshifters very quickly. So one possibility here is you can use a legendary pet to pick up some of the drops. If you're not interested in the tier 80 hybrid armor, I would just leave all of the Tardian crystals on the ground and not waste time picking them up. It's slightly better than War Priest, but the armor does degrade, so it does have that downside. Overall, the fight is quite easy. They do quite a bit of damage. They can use a few abilities as well, such as the main ones that you want to walk, watch out for is they can use ultimates. I've seen a couple of shapeshifters use incendiary shot, which is an ability that can do like 2k range damage on you. And also they will quite often use frag shot if you are killing shapeshifters that are in range mode. And they can also 
use combust if you're killing shapeshifters that are in magic modes they'll double the damage that you take if you move and they can charge towards you and sometimes that attack can deal up to 2.5k damage so overall if you do have an amulet of souls if you are on task and if you have a tier 90 weapon you should be able to soul split just about all your health back i had to use the enhanced excalibur occasionally for healing after they got lucky with a few hits but i never had a moment where i had to use any food after killing them for about an hour so overall they are pretty easy so if you are interested in getting the tier 80 hybrid armor, you can go to Angoff, who is the same person that you set the aggressiveness for the shapeshifters, and she sells all of the crystal armor. The cheaper armor is only tier 70, and it's not that great, but the tier 80 armor is the attuned armor, and unfortunately this armor does degrade, so there is that downside, and it can be repaired by using more of the Tardian crystals, but it is the best hybrid armor in the game, so it's good for stuff like Dagonoth Kings, Calfight King on Slayer Task, or Tormented Demons on Slayer Task, and it doesn't have a whole lot of uses outside of that but if you are interested in this armor it takes a long time to get it you get around 250 to 300 shards per hour so you'll have to camp for a long time to get the armor if you're interested in purchasing it so I did a quote-unquote task of 120 crystal shapeshifters, and that is a fairly average amount to be assigned for more friends, so that's the reason why I did that exact number. And as I talked about earlier, I could not get a task. I went through a lot of slayer points, and more friends just wouldn't assign me them. And unfortunately, I had to kill them off of tasks, but I did use overloads to simulate kind of what it would be like with a slayer helm bonus. Just keep in mind, it would be a little bit faster if I did have that slayer helm, and I was killing them on slayer task. However, we still got about 3.5 mil in one hour. The price check's messed up because it's on an Iron Man account. But I did get lucky with a Palm Seed drop, so if you were not to get that, it would be 2 mil profit in that hour of killing the shapeshifters, which is not bad. And the Slayer XP is good, but not great. So I would say this task is decent if you're someone that just looks to make as much profit as possible from Slayer. Or if you're low on Slayer points, it's not a bad task. The combat XP is really, really good as well. So even though the Slayer XP is a bit lacking compared to some of the greater tasks like air roots, the combat XP is nice. However, if you do have a lot of points and you're slain for XP and nothing else, you probably should give this one a skip. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. The rest of my Slayer guides are in a playlist that's going to be linked on the screen. Check that out if you're interested. But that's all for me. I'll see you next time. Farewell.